please talk about the fact that I still have not gotten one of the mass media hats that you promised me last year? Uh, well, that would be impossible because it was earlier this year I had it. You still haven't gotten one? I will send uh -uh. one to you. I no, I've gotten no swag from you. Oh, my gosh. Do you want it in blue or a different color? Oh, I like the blue. You like the blue. I, will yeah. I won't send you this one, okay. but I will send you one specifically. Uh, Ease, I've actually got a swag box going out to you here, but I'll change it out the different because you spoke at Note Camp recently. So I yes. Guess. That stuff, I'll, I'll order and send another hat out for you here. Sure, for awesome. That's what I'm talking about. I'm like, I'm not getting any swag, any swag over here. Oh, <laughs> I, I, I like swag. And so for those of you guys that are listening now, uh, always honored to have the mayor of Boomtown oh. Marketing. Uh, this lady, if you've heard her on Note Camp, you know she delivers two barrels of thunder when it comes to marketing. <laughs> and that's why she's a regular contributor here. Uh, just absolutely an amazing individual. Knows her stuff. And I can't wait for what she's going to share today with you guys here on National Social Media Day. So this is your, what, third time or second time to being on here? Like third time. Third time, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. So good stuff. Hey, how's it going today in LA? It's fantastic. It is beautiful here. It is not the middle of the night. It's actually uh, maybe middle of the day. It's noon here. So perfect time. I'm up. I ran. I ate. I'm ready to go. There we go. So I, you got slides. You got a presentation to share with everybody. I, I do. Imagine. Yeah. Right. Can I do a screen share? Yes, ma'am. Go right ahead. Fantastic. And I'll, be here, and I'll be here just fielding questions and let you get rocking and rolling there for you. Okay. Awesome. And so uh, just to let you know, I released a video today on YouTube that was all about the uh, pros and cons of both Facebook Live and Instagram Live. So in conjunction with that, I'm actually doing Instagram Live while I'm doing this. So you nice. might see me wave to my people. I, I'm giving them a real world study of how this is done. Uh, but unfortunately, you guys over on Instagram won't hear the audio unless you go over and sign up at socialmediaday2020.com and then go through the registration. Otherwise, um, I don't know if you're going to hear Scott because I have my I Should I join on the, the Instagram? You bring me sure. on and we do a mutual thing like that? I'm yeah, do it. Do it. This was perfect timing. I'm like, oh my God, real world study. And then someone, ah, there he is, hi. Go live with Scott Carson. We are, oh boy, this is so meta. It's okay to say it's waiting for you now. There we go, look at that. Yeah, okay, so now I just, I need to mute my phone over there. Hold on, where's my mute button? Just so it's uh, We are multi-platform multi here doing this. There's so wrong. much going on here. And as usual, you guys think like I'm in a professional setting sitting here with my beautiful backdrop. But if I take the camera down. There's your dog. Charlie oh, Bear. Dogs. Okay. Just to let you know, this is what happens with live, especially during COVID. So um, yeah. Okay. Let's get started. I'm going to share my screen. I've got an awesome presentation for you, which I'm calling Tweet It to the Top because this is all about Twitter. Oh, now you're doing me on me. That's so crazy. <laughs> I'm going to your slides. I'm going to share your slides when they go live here. Oh, okay. And then also, uh, I'll tell everybody right now that if you slide into my DMs on Twitter at Boomtown Biz, you get all the freebies. So that is what we have going on today. All right, let me go get my screen and then I will share it. This is awesome. <laughs> Scott, it's always so much fun with you. I love hanging out with you. Oh uh, yeah, same here. Definitely. Here we go. All right, do you see my screen? Okay, great. Now let me put that in presentation mode. Present. <gasps> Tweet it to the top and we're live. Thank you so much everybody for joining me on Social Media Day 2020. I have to out myself. I consistently forget exactly what day of the year social media day falls on until Scott starts reminding me. <laughs> That's why you're so awesome, Scott. Like you're like so much more up on certain things than I am. I'm like, you're right. We have to do social media day again. <laughs> it's just another one of those things that makes it awesome having friends that are also super interested in doing social media for their business. Because let me tell you, Scott is a mastermind of it. And he knows how powerful things like Twitter can be for your business. So I want to talk to you today about how you tweet it to the top. And that is exactly how you harness the power of Twitter to get free PR, build authority and make the news. Because if you are thinking for one second, oh my God, do I really need to be on Twitter? Is Twitter still a thing? I would like to just point out that world leaders are on Twitter. So if there's one social media tool you want to be on right now, 
It's probably Twitter. Okay, here we go. Next slide. There can be only one, so you must be that one. And what I mean by that is, Twitter is one of the unique social media platforms that basically gives you a microphone and there's very little distraction around it. So you'll notice if you go to one of the other tools like Facebook or even Instagram, um, TikTok, forget, let's not even talk about. When you're on those platforms, other accounts are constantly being served up to you and almost bombarded to you. And it's very, very hard to keep that audience's attention. Whereas when you are on Twitter, if you get somebody to your Twitter profile, there is nothing else to look at except for your messaging. And that is huge. And that's one of the things that I just don't see a lot of businesses realizing, which leads them to just not uh, harness the power of Twitter because they're like, well, it's just another tool. But you have to understand when people are engaged on Twitter, when they're on your profile, even if they're just scrolling through their feed, it is way easier to capture their attention and hold it. And you just don't have that ability in the other platforms. So if you remember one thing from my presentation, that is be that one, because on Twitter, you can truly be that one. Okay. Just to introduce myself, hello, my name is Stephanie Lahar, and I am a professional conversationalist. That means that I not only like to talk a lot, but I study neuroscience specifically to figure out how people communicate, how they acquire language, how they figure out what conversation is, how do they, how do they get into conversations, how do they form conversations. And now I just quantify myself. I am a professional conversationalist. That's what I do. I teach people how to talk online. So if you want to go follow me on Twitter, which I highly recommend because I'm going to give you giving you a bunch of freebies, go follow me now at Boomtown Biz. Uh, you're going to slide into my DMs, tell them, tell me that you saw me on social media day, and I'm going to give you some, um, first of all, I'm going to give you my slideshow because I know you want that. And then secondly, I'm going to give you a free Twitter list of the top 20 ideas for content for Twitter that you're just going to love. And just so you know, my mom likes to brag about me because I am CEO and founder of Boomtown Marketing. I'm the host of Troy Digital Talk podcast where we talk about marketing, both traditional and new media. I'm a speaker. I'm also a philanthropist, which you know what, Scott, we have to talk about all of my charity work. And I mention it here because, oh my God, what I have done on Twitter for one of my charities, ooh, it's gonna blow your mind. Okay, here we go. There are 50 million tweets sent every day. 50 million tweets. And somebody who knows math way better than me figured out that 6,000 tweets a second. That's incredible, right? Like right now with all my rambling, there's been like, I don't know, 20,000 tweets sent. That's incredible. You know, and like I said back in the beginning, Twitter is one of the few social media platforms that once you have somebody on your profile or you have somebody to read one of your messages, it's really easy to capture their attention and hold it. And that's just one of the greatest things about Twitter and why in the next slide, I will show you the most popular tweet of all times with a staggering 4.4 million likes is from our dear former President Barack Obama. And if you read this with me together, I think it is insightful, beautiful, and totally appropriate for our times. No one is born hating another person because of the color of his skin or his background or his religion. 4.4 million people liked it is the top tweet of all time. Screenshot that share it, tag me, and I'll give you more freebies. Because this, this is the kind of messaging that you can share on Twitter, okay? This is the kind of powerful one shot that you could have that could go viral for you. So think about something like this for your business. Are you gonna make a huge statement like that? Something that pertains to your business? You could, and it's so easy to share and pass that on. And next thing you know, you're like, oh my God, I got a million views on that. And that will convert into people that are not only aware of your business, but also want to work with you or want to at least find out more about you and what kind of services you provide and what you could do for them or, or just, you know, what is going on in your little corner of the world. I mean, just having a tweet like that is huge, powerful. And again, you are not, you are not competing for other people's attention when you see something like this. There's nothing else on the screen, really. There's just that. So remember that, screen share it, please. And um, it's a beautiful, it is a beautiful quote for a beautiful time right now. Okay, now here's where we get into the good stuff. And this is how you're going to build your authority. Here's our stats real quickly. 
Journalists make up 24% of verified Twitter accounts. These are not bot accounts. These are not crap accounts. These are 24% of all the verified Twitter accounts in Twitterverse are journalists. This is huge, people, huge. This is how you're gonna start building your authority. Journalists are there writing stories. They're the ones, you know, making the media. If you want to build your authority, if you want to be part of the media cycle, if you want to get your message out there, hello, 24% of verified Twitter accounts are journalists. Remember that one. The next one is 83% of the world's leaders are on Twitter. Uh, oh my God. We, uh, listen, we already know. We have a current president right, right now who loves Twitter like, it's, like he built it. And I'm just saying, he's not the only world leader on there. And there are real conversations. There's real information going back and forth on this. Um, you know, um, I won't mention the person that I just mentioned earlier, but you know, there is verified information. There is good information on there. And 83% of the world's leaders are on Twitter. Again, awesome place for building authority. And then if you look at my last slide, you will see, um, he says he has 52 million Twitter followers, uh, and that is coming from his own source. So that again is with the caveat of source your information and make sure it's correct uh, before you utilize it in your own slideshow. I put it on there mainly for the ha-has. But again, Twitter is a place for you to provide real, accurate, relevant, and valuable information to the world. Like for as much as you hear out there about you know, oh, the, the media is fake or the news is wrong or this is wrong. Wouldn't it be great if you were the person that was going to start putting out accurate information, really sharing stuff with people that's really going to help move their lives forward, move the world forward, uh, hearkening back to former President Obama's tweet. Information like that, like, don't you want to be the person to share that? Like, be the good person on Twitter. Share good, accurate information on there because people are watching. Okay, let's go on this. Let's get newsy. Here's your Twitter tips and tricks. I'm gonna blow through this quickly because I wanna make sure we have time for Q&A. I don't wanna uh, use up all of my time just for me chattering. So here's what you're gonna do. Here's your action list. You are gonna go and find local news media accounts in your area and you're gonna follow them, okay? Oh, and I didn't put this on here. I will update the slide. And you're gonna make a Twitter list so that they're all on a list so you can find them easily, okay? The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna, re you're gonna follow reporters that cover news in your industry, okay? I specifically mentioned news in your industry because I don't want you to simply go and follow like uh, who's on the five o'clock news. Let's just say Lisa Smith is the big news anchor and you're following her thinking, oh, that's a connection. Well, Lisa Smith is not the one who is talking about, let's say community events. So that's not really what you want. Um, if you were here a couple minutes ago, I mentioned the work that I do with charities. What we have done with our charity work and we are starting to get actual news press, written news press, is because we started following the reporters that specifically cover community stories, okay? We found those in the area, we followed those and we started direct messaging them, DMing them about what we were doing with our charity, which by the way is called Drive-By Do-Gooders. We uh, provide support to the people who are homeless in the Los Angeles area. We give them food, we give them water, we give them tarps when they need it, we give them face masks now. And now the local media is picking up our story because we have been conversing directly with reporters that specifically cover community access stories. Does that make sense? Okay, let's move on. You're, oh, I did put it on here. Create lists of the media and the reporters for easy access. If you don't know how to create Twitter lists, slide into my DMs. I'm gonna show you that in a video next week on my YouTube channel. And here's where it's another point in, uh, in, uh, important, let me say it again, important point. When you are commenting or posting or retweeting or sliding into DMs, you better make sure it's a comment that's more than, I like this, this is great, good informa information, exclamation point, or simply a smiley face. That does not add to the conversation. So take a screenshot of this, please and retweet it right now, because you are all going to promise me you're gonna write thoughtful comments on your posts, on your article retweets, on your retweets and your DMs. If you do not, you're just wasting your time. Next slide, okay. Share the wealth. Here is your action list number two. You are gonna post on your Twitter at least five times a day. To do this, you're gonna use a scheduler. The beautiful thing about Twitter is you can repost messages, you will not get penalized, and it actually is helpful to your audience 
because people are seeing Twitter at different times during the day. They're not necessarily going to go back specifically to your profile, so they might miss it. So if you, you know, publish a YouTube video like I did today, yes, I'm going to publish that message several times during the week so people on various days will see it that I have a new video out. And I do use a scheduler to do this, so you should too. Okay, the next thing is, you are going to add influential people. So if I specifically create a video about how to use Instagram Live, hi Instagram Live, like I did today, I am going to make sure that I'm adding influence, influential people that are in the space. Maybe other people that I know that already use Instagram a lot, like my dear friend Adam Schobel, who is going to be, oh, I said your name wrong, Scheibel. Adam, don't hate me. He's like the Instagram king. So yes, I'm going to add him and show him what I'm doing on this. If he thinks it's valuable, he might share it with his community. You know, you want to make sure that you're targeting people that are actually in that space. It doesn't do me any good to add people that have no in, you know, interest in something that I'm talking about. Again, it's going to be up to you to source the people that are going to have interest in what you're talking about and then at them. And again, you're not spamming them. You're not sending them crap. You're not doing an at list of like 20 people. Make it specific, make it targeted. People will respond when they see that your tweet is done in a thoughtful way and specifically to them. We don't spam on Twitter. That's a surefire way to get ignored. Okay, the next thing is, a great thing that you could be sharing is any thoughtful quotes from your website or blog. I know you all have websites out there. If you don't have a blog yet, great idea to start one. Start sharing thoughtful quotes that are specifically from your website, your blog, your industry, or something that you have wrote or, wrote or thought. Um, please don't be one of those people that simply grabs a bunch of generic quotes. They go to like goodreads.com and just grab these generic quotes of people that you never even heard of and you slap it on top of a graphic and you're like, oh, I'm really helping the world. First of all, you didn't source that quote. You're not even sure if you said it. And there are tons of famous people out there that have tons of like misaligned quotes to them. They never even said it, but people slapped it on a graphic and they're like, oh, this is what Abraham Lincoln said. And basically he didn't. So you know what? Why don't you write your own quote that has to do with something you believe about your industry or something you have learned? And then you are building your authority at the same time. It's a win-win right there. Sharing information, also building your authority. And then guess what? Don't be surprised if somebody grabs your information gra graphic, your quote graphic, and then repost it themselves. And by the way, your name's on it. So next thing you know, it's like, who is this Stephanie LaHart girl? She's saying really smart things about marketing. And yes, that is what we call long tail. That is not an immediate sale, but that is all building your branding, building your name, getting your authority you know, up there. This is what you can do on Twitter, and it's super easy use a scheduler, hire a VA, get it done. And my final tip on this is when you are responding to people after you have tweeted something and you should respond, please leave real comments, have real conversations and ignore all trolls, ignore them. Anybody who writes something on your Twitter and they specifically just want to do some kind of in inflammatory conversation, just ignore them. Just ignore them. It doesn't make you look smart or clever if you respond to them. We don't feed the trolls. And yes, there are a lot of trolls on all social media. Ignore the trolls, real comments only. And if you don't have anything nice to say, remember what your mom said. Don't say anything, walk away, go have a smoothie. Okay, here's my last tip, trick, slide thingy, slide into the DMs. Okay, Twitter tips and tricks, slide into the DMs. I used to hate that saying. I thought it was like so creepy and now I'm all about sliding into everything. Okay, first of all, turn off your autoresponders if you have an autoresponder on your Twitter right now. That means when somebody follows you, you immediately send them a canned response or a canned DM with something that's like automatically selling them something. Nobody wants to hear it and they're going to ignore you. They might even take the time to unfollow you, which I have done because I find it so annoying. No autoresponders. Second thing, only DM people that you can truly serve. If somebody follows you and you see that it is like for me, an entrepreneur, they might need some marketing tips or advice. Yes, I will DM them and say, thanks for following me. By the way, I have all these free videos over on YouTube. If you want some, you know, free marketing advice, go over there, check it out. Let them take the next step. If they then message you back, yes, have a conversation with them, but please don't immediately bombard people with a sales message in the DMs. You will be ignored. You will not make a sale. I don't know who started this. It's so annoying. 
fourth thing, no, third thing on it, send kudos, not just ask or promos. If somebody follows you, look at their account and then send them a DM and say, oh my God, Scott Carson, that's so cool what you're doing. Great job. I, I didn't know anything like that about real estate and you really opened my eyes. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. And you know, I'll, I'll follow your account, whatever you want to say. You don't even have to say it that long. You could just say, hey, thanks for following me. I'm going to check out your account. You look cool, whatever. But, you know, make, make it just like an appreciation kind of thing. And it doesn't have to be long. Make it a little bit longer than thanks for following, though, because that looks too auto bots. And we do hate bots, okay? Uh, the next thing you could share, the final thing that you could share in your DMs is sharing relevant information to news stories. So if somebody follows me and I want to follow up with a DM, I will take the time to look at them, look at the space they're in. If I happen to know of some interesting news article or, or some kind of shared knowledge that I think would be appropriate for them, I will say, hey, I'm glad we connected on Twitter. By the way, I saw this article. I think you might be interested in it. Here's the link. Have a great day. Like give them something, give them something valuable, right? We don't want to keep spamming people. Please, 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 please. If you have an autoresponder, please turn it off. Nobody's looking at that and you will get unfollowed for that at this point. I will unfollow you. That's how annoying I find them. Okay, final thing, because I'm almost done this presentation and then we're going to take question and answers. Free stuff. I'm going to give you my deck of 20 tweetable awesome tweets in a swipe deck that you can steal. You can steal, you can use, you can just take the suggestion and then create your own. And all you got to do is slide into my DMs on Twitter, say that you saw me on social media day, and I'm going to give you that freebie and a bunch of other good stuff. And I'm not going to sign you up to my aunt mailing list. I'm not going to spam you. I'm not going to sell you on a thousand dollar coaching course. I'm simply going to give you what I just told you I was going to give you. And then if you want something else from me, well, now at least you know where to find me. And that in a nutshell is how you tweet yourself to the top. Scott, how did I do? Did I get my time under control for once? Oh, take a screenshot real quick of this, just in case you want that deck. It is a, it is a swipeable deck, so you get to use all those tweets for yourself. And I'm gonna stop sharing. How did I do? Yes, 20 minutes, Scott. I think you, you did like great. That? I think you're wonderful. Uh, that was the first T uh, double share on Instagram and Zoom I've ever, well, we did it. I got, sometimes when I'm doing solo episodes, I'll share like Instagram live like that as well yeah. too. First time we've done two like that. So yay. I love that you were showing my slides as I was talking because they can't hear you on Instagram. So hopefully somebody will grab that. But um, we have 30 minutes, right? So I have like 10 more minutes. Yeah, we're still good. Awesome. So if we have anybody in the chat room that has questions, I know I talk very fast. Uh, that is partly because I was born and raised in Philadelphia and partly because I only have 30 minutes and I had so much to tell you guys. I am just so excited about Twitter and I want to get people more excited about the opportunities that do lie in the Twitterverse for, you know, building your business and finding your tribe, as we say. You know, I just, I think it's one of those most underutilized tools that I've seen in the business sphere. Like everybody's jumped on LinkedIn, you know? Well, I love what you shared about following media personalities. That is such a valuable tool. Absolutely something to implement immediately because there's all sorts of people that run articles, like especially in the real estate space. We got a few periodicals, we think like DS News, HousingWire.com. Uh, that are uh, online websites where they have articles that come out every day that we like to, I, I tell people, hey, share the article. But that's a great way to do it. Share the link and then tag the person with their, their, their Twitter handle. Say, hey, great article. I'm sharing this to my audience. What a great way to start building some uh, credibility with, it, with, that, uh, with that journalist. to get When they need a story, who are they going to turn to? Exactly. You. Exactly. And then they recognize your name. So remember, journalists aren't going to try, they aren't going to get your press release and then write a story about it. A lot of times, and what PR people are very, very relevant for and, and awesome at is pitching what we call a story to a journalist, you know, mm -hmm. so having a prepackaged story for them. But again, it has to be something that they already write about. 
So you're not going to pitch a community story to a technology writer, you know? And that's the other thing, again, I was saying, when you find reporters, make sure you're talking to the right one. And going back to what I said about drive-by do-gooders, what we started doing was reaching out to the people in the local LA area that cover community stories. And we got picked up by the Argonaut down in Santa Monica and got this great article written. It was honestly, Scott, our first, I'm getting goosebumps. It was our first media piece. And being in a print um, periodical like that still holds a lot of sway, you know, and they would have never known what we were doing if we hadn't reached out to that reporter. Mm -hmm. That's that's huge. Now let's talk a little bit about some of the ideas. Cause I think a lot of people, let's all face it. We all know news has taken a whole different change with everything in the last 90 days, no sports, not a lot of activities uh, together. People, I, I seem to think that news has taken a very negative route with a lot of the negative Nancy's. And I think we really do need those positive stories right. and those positive right. change. So uh, reaching out to your local news, your local events, your local morning shows. I mean, you got uh, reporters that are doing the news and the weather and the sports cast from their dining room table these days. Yeah. You know, anytime you can share local stories of, uh, of color, enjoyment and things like that, what a great way to kind of get the word out and what you're doing, right? Right, exactly. And you will often see local news asking for stuff specifically uh, you know, especially during this time when they're like, you know, they're asking, hey, tweet at us or Instagram at us and tell us what you're doing to stay active at home or stay in, you know, if you do take part in those stories and your name becomes, you know, something that they recognize, yes, it's exactly that, Scott. Suddenly, again, you're a real person to them. You're a person of value. You're a person that, you know, is honest and, and has something valuable to say. And, you know, what you said about the negative news situation is, you know what, if, again, if you don't like what's happening in the world, be the person to change it. Put out good information, you know, put out real information, put out relevant information, especially, you know, with stuff like on social media. If you go and do a search for, let's just say, um, the, the top 20 tweets uh, to write or whatever, you're gonna get a lot of old information because things have changed over time. So if you're reading a news article from 10 years ago, that information for the most part is probably outdated. So what you could do as somebody in your industry, and I know, Scott, you already do this, is take information that was already out there and then update it and write that and, for, and, then, and then publish that information and be the authority for now, for 2020. Like, we don't need to keep rehashing. Like, again, like I said, people are so excited about taking a quote from somebody who lived 500 years ago and think, oh, well, they said it. So that, be, remember, because everybody was so smart and clean back then, right? Right? Like you go to like the medieval fairs and everybody's walking around all clean. I saw like the best uh, cartoon years ago. They're like, you want to know what a medieval fair was like back in the day? It's like walk through mud, cover yourself in poop and don't bathe for six months. That's what a medieval fair was like, you know? But we look back into like history where like everybody was clean walking around with their Roman togas. It's like, no, Rome was covered in graffiti, right? So it's like, stop looking to history and be like, they're the only ones that have something to say. You, you write something thoughtful and be that new quote that people share. Yeah. That whole <laughs> scene, the whole scene in uh, Game of Thrones or Cersei's walk in, shame, shame, people throwing shit. That was a normal occurrence exactly. every hour. <laughs> exactly. And they, now, and they, oh, they I mean, the, the whole, like, the, the whole notion that there was, like, you know, the founding fathers were all sitting there clean. No, they were all radicals screaming at each other. I mean, come on, you have just as much to say. So you write a quote, you be the one that it's retweeted because I'm tired of seeing old dead people quotes. <laughs> Although, Everybody's just reusing old over and over. Yeah. Although the original hashtag Black Lives Matter was Abraham Lincoln back in the day. He just didn't say that though. <laughs> exactly. I mean, you can use some of their thoughts and stuff, but you know what? We have relevant things to say too. Build up your authority. Be the person that gets retweeted. Yeah. Now one of the great... <laughs> One of the great things, tactics that I learned from you a few years ago, it falls in line a little bit with this, is, and I heard this briefly from our second um, guest, Indra, who's out of the, uh, the, the Barbados, talking about if you're going somewhere, seeing if that company, that hotel, that destination has a social media thing and tagging them in your post, you never know what's going to happen. I, I, I like to give a big shout out to the Dana at Mission Bay is a, is a hotel uh, kind of resort there in San Diego that I go to pretty often for events. And I've always, hey, I'm excited to go back to Dana Mission Bay. Well, lo and behold, I walk into my room and they have a custom tray waiting for me of fresh fruit. And they said, thank you for sharing. And they even put an image card 
for me to reshare it with the right hashtags and the right yeah. socials. I was like, this is awesome. Or another good one is the Hard Rock Hotel in San Diego. We've had events there multiple times. Tagged it in there. We walked in. They had a bottle of Patron and a bottle of Crown Royal sitting there waiting for us to take shots. Uh, yeah, so it's kind of a, a you know, the, those are the little things, perks. If you just share what's going on, share where you're going and find what's going on. Those come in handy just as much as the news media stuff. Sometimes a little bit more fun, huh? Yeah, and that's a great point. And, and always make sure that you're doing it not with the intention of like, I want to get free stuff but with the intention of like, I do like this place, like in a very valuable and authentic way of like, I like this place, I wanna share it with people. I remember, we're not telling you how to get, build a, you know, influence to get free shit. Cause guess what? There is no such thing as free shit in this world. At some point you will pay. What was the old saying? Um, ass, cash or grass? Someone, how does that one go? And I gotta look that up, it's so old. But it's yeah. true. So stop acting like there's free, free. You will work for it in some way. So just do stuff that you actually believe in. Because again, you know, it'll, you will save yourself a lot of heartache and uh, maybe embarrassment by backing a brand or let's say a, a fire festival and then realizing it was total bullshit. Like only do stuff that you actually know is good and that you support. It's not about just getting free stuff. And I love that you just did something very authentically. And look, they just, you know, were like, hey, this guy's great. And then they, they, um, they did look you up before they, you know, gave you any kind of free stuff. Because they're like, oh, this guy is a business person. He's real. He's, you know, a yes, has a good following. But they wanted to make sure they were also willing to be aligned with you, you know? Yeah, I was actually staying at their hotel, staying in a place there. And we yeah. had things picked up as we travel with Southwest. We've had Steph, we were out on vacation a couple of years ago at, uh, the Re at the uh, Four Seasons in Revis and did a, a beautiful photo shot and we tagged it. And the hotel actually asked if they could use that for marketing in the future too. It was kind of a cool thing. I love it. And just to point out, Scott just mentioned Steph. That is his lovely girlfriend or wife at this point. I was never quite sure. Um, who was also happy. named Stephanie. <laughs> we are not vacationing together, me and Scott, although I'm sure we would have a good time. I'm sure we all have a good time from this today, whoever, oh, and that's the beautiful thing. Social media can be fun and you surround yourself with great people. You get great tips, great quotes. You know, the same thing I've learned a lot from you. Um, met you originally at PodFest four years, three years ago, four years ago. And you, you know, you're taking photos of everybody. You're also very active on and, and share things. You work with a lot of different clients out there as well too. What's kind of, uh, what's the best way for those of you here to find out more kind of about the, the products and services you offer and how you work with entrepreneurs and business owners, Stephanie. Well, since we're talking about Twitter and I want everybody to get on Twitter today, slide into my DMs on Twitter. I can be easily found at Boomtown Biz. Uh, that's a great place to start the conversation with me. Otherwise, you could always go to my main website, which is boomtownmarketing.com. All of my links, all of my uh, contact information is there. And I would love to be able to share with you, you know, more information about social media because I live this stuff. I, this is an intentional career for me. I was actually a web designer many years ago and I saw what was happening with social media and I'm like, ooh, I want that to be my job. Like, wouldn't it be cool to like be on social media all day? So I intentionally went into this business and I'm so glad that I did. And, and we are too. <laughs> Stephanie, you know what? Thank you so much for being on National Social Media Day with our international flair. Thank you for delivering great content. Guys, take advantage of those top 20 tweets that she was talking about there. And uh, have a great rest of your day. Enjoy your weekend, all right? Enjoy your 4th of July upcoming as well, too, Stephanie. Thank you very much, you too, Scott. And give my love to Stephanie. She sends her love from downstairs. She's listening. <laughs> awesome. <practice. laughs> Bye. See you later. Bye.